for David Hagel. David. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Oh, that's the mic. Hi. All right. It's working now. It's nice to see you all out there. Um, so, for starters, I have social anxiety. So it's like, I come up here, I do my thing, I go off stage, I fart around, I talk to people and this and that, and then I miss a bunch of social cues, like, all the time. And it's like, the few ones I get, like, inside, in my head, I'm like, I got that one. And I start doing, like, victory dance and stuff, like, woo! Because that's how it works with people who miss social cues. Anyways, so I used to get that I looked like John Lennon a lot back in the day because I had long, long hair and a big ass beard, these round ass fucking glasses. I don't know why I'm saying ass so much, it just sounds good right now. Right now, I look a little bit more like Obi Wan Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars Episode 3. You know, where he's getting all mad at Anakin, like, you were the chosen one, her to her. That one. <laughs> Anyways, this is my second show in Asheville, only my seventh show ever. Part of, part of my thing is I come up here, I'm kind of awkward, it's kind of those little moments where it's just like, I don't know, is this guy funny? I'm not sure. The fact is, I look in the mirror, I'm like, well, I know my face is funny, but I don't know about the rest of me. But, um, so, I've been thinking lately that the universe, like there is a cosmic humor in the universe. It likes to do this and that to fuck with you. Ah, oh, that's better. Like, starting your set and not talking completely into the microphone and then realizing by accident that you're not talking completely into the microphone. Cosmic humor. Well, I got kicked out of college in 2009. What comes out and hits the top 40 in the summer of 2009? I love college. So I'm driving around in my hometown, Knoxville, Tennessee. This is a long time before Johnson City. I love college keeps coming on. And I'm thinking, I don't know whose idea it was to put up on I love college in the top 40 after I've been kicked out of college. You guys are dicks, not you guys universe people. I like the audience here. I mean, it's small, but it's nice. And it wasn't that small earlier. It was bigger. And now I sound like I'm making a dick joke, which I'm not. It just kind of came <laughs> to me. <laughs> well, um, also, what else was I thinking about earlier? I was thinking that my memory was getting better, but I, I can't really remember why I was thinking that. I had a whole set written out about how my memory was improving, and I forgot most of it. And now it all just sounds pretty redundant, saying that my memories are improving and forgetting my sets. This happens when I go on stage. You know, I'll, I'll be good all day long, and I'll blank a little bit. But now it's getting to the point where it's not as much of a phasing thing, because I'm getting used to it. And uh, let's see what else. Dogs, any dog owners here? Anybody notice how um, dogs will be chilling when you're in the house? And most of the time, you know, they operate on sight so much. If you close the blinds in your window, if you close the curtains in your window, nothing. As soon as you open those motherfuckers, and they see a little kid on a bike outside, the world's ending. Everything's burning, the world's ending. Is it time? Not yet. All right, I'm really awkward about time, I'm awkward about everything, that's one of the things that makes me somewhat functional as a comedian. Actually, I should've been wearing my glasses so I could see what time it was. But, you know, that's one of the great things is to be able to go on stage, do your thing, it's a really wonderful thing, you know, being able to have the mic for a while. Now I'm just rambling. I'm glad I didn't drink more earlier. <laughs> but, um, I, um, I'm on a quest to be the best like no one ever was. 
It's my real test. The train is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. It's Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Get get up, you and me.